Hello everyone. So in our previous class, we designed this lab. I hope you remember part one already we published, and we told we will give one week time. You need to do this lab. But <clears throat> but I think some student done, some student still unable to do. But no issue. Uh, we are going to continue now. We will uh, teach you some part here. Then we will give you assignment, and we will see. If not, then we will do all the thing here. Okay, so if you remember, we told before this IP we put in the LAN side. Okay, now what we are doing here? If you see here inside, if you see inside, you have what you have inside. This is a subnet you need to use inside this one, and the router interface which is connecting to the switch that is having one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one. If you are using the single VLAN, you can use this one dot one here. Here is uh, like whatever we have, three dot one, two dot one, and here four dot one. If you are using uh, like same VLAN, means you have only one VLAN, like maybe VLAN one. But imagine if you have multiple VLAN, then you will have the little different scenario. You will do the router on a stick here. Like if you are using VLAN ten here and VLAN twenty here, then the concept. here we will have the different configuration configuration will change so which one you want me to do because i give you two assignment one is use this one and use the default vlan and do the configuration that is one lab one project another project is you need to take here vlan 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and do All the VLAN should able to communicate with each other. How you will do? That is the second assignment. So now I will show you the basic one. We will do maybe maybe we will do ten videos, eight eight minute videos, ten videos we will do. Now in this one, what I am doing? I am using this one as a normal. Uh, we can say without any VLAN or router on uh, stick method. Without that one, we are using. After this, we will use the router on a stick, and we will use the different VLAN. Okay. So what I will do, if you see here, I will use the Notepad to do this configuration. So later also we can use the same configuration again because later we are going to modify this project. So now, if you see the first one, is this is a basic project. So I will write here mini project or what name we give a small company. small company okay network without vlan so this is the one without vlan later when we finish without vlan we will do with vlan also okay <coughs> so in the switch and the what we can say in the switch we will not do any configuration only we will do in the router only only we will do in the router so let me do the configuration in the router i will say r1 configuration and here same thing enable config t host name r1 and then we have the interface we will see interface f0 by 0 here okay i am doing this interface see here first i am going to assign the ip here here and here okay so let's see here what we will do so what i will do i will assign the ip address so i go under this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and then i will assign the ip here so ip ip address we will give like whatever we are planning we will use 192.168.12.1 okay and give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut okay i am putting this configuration in the notepad so it will be easy for you you can join our telegram channel in the telegram channel i am going to share you this notepad as well as this configuration and topo topology also so one interface is finish i will copy this same thing i will paste here so this one is finish now we will see this one f0 by 1 so i will make this as f0 by 1 here and this one i will put as a 14 so we have a 92168.14.1 here and i have another interface f1 by 0 so i will copy this one more time i will put this here okay i will put this here you can see f1 by 0 so here will be f1 slash 0 so these are the three interface so in this lab in this one first we are doing like a normal 
because some freshers they are confused so what we will do we will do in the normal way i will assign ip here i will assign ip here i will assign the ip here so we will not use the vlan we will have common vlan vlan 1 only after completing of this one we will do one more in that one what i am going to do i am going to create this in the vlan 10 and vlan 20 and this will be as a trunk and here we will do router on a stick so inter vlan will work and we will enable the ospf okay so same thing here but now i am going to do the ospf like router ospf1 okay and then interface f0 by 0 i am going to enable the ospf in all the what we can say ospf1 area 0 under all the interface we need to do this one so if you see here i will go here i will put three time so this one we done so this one we need to do i will copy i will paste here okay i will copy i will paste this here now our r1 configuration is done here this is the r1 let me paste this configuration in the r1 no need to worry later when we finish this again we will do the same thing with the vlan so if you know already this one no worries because many students they are requesting from the scratch so we are doing this one so i will paste here so see here what i done i pasted here everything work good no error nothing here everything is okay but here if you see somewhere i am having the conflict here so maybe i assign wrong ip let me check here what i put if you see yeah i put wrong ip here this one f0 by 0 i give 12.1 f0 by 1 i give 14.1 but f1 by 0 here i give 1.1 1 .1, so i give 14.1 so let me remove here let me assign the ip now i will go again i will assign the ip here okay so now let me write show ip root okay still because we did not configure i will write show ip interface brief just to check the interface show ip ospf interface brief to check whatever interface are present in the ospf so everything is good i will save the configuration now i need to do same thing for the router 2 also so i can copy this from here to here okay i can paste here and you can modify here so this will be r2 okay this one i am doing r2 and here if you see f0 by 0 will be 12.2 .2, so here will be 12.2 .2, and here f0 by 1 will be 23.1 so this will be 23.1 and here this one f1 by 0 this one will be 2.1 clear right any confusion here see here 12.1 here 12.2 .2, and here will be 2.1 this side f0 by 1 will be 23.1 and all these three interface we enable the ospf here okay same we are using area 0 so i will copy this all thing here from here to here then i will go to this router r2 i will paste here i will go i will paste here let's see if we get any issue or anything nothing right everything is good here I will save the configuration and many guys are requesting not make more than 8 minute video like that they are putting the comments so that's why I am making the multiple video but anyhow 8 minute already finish at least we will do uh, like uh, all router here it will become 15 minutes no problem bear with me so we will do all router configuration so in our next uh, video we can do the VLAN lab. So now I am here in the uh, router 3, 23.2, which interface F0 by 0 will be 23.2. Okay, and what else you have? F0 by 1, F0 by 1, 34.1, F0 by 1, 34.1. And what else you have? F1 by 0, this should be 3.1. Okay. And all these three interfaces having the OSPF, so we can keep this same as it is. So I will copy this, I will paste this in the R3. Okay, no confusion, right? Because this is the same topology we are going to use for uh, all these lab. Means this one and also the another VLAN lab. 
that's why i'm doing each and everything so we can remove some configuration later and we can add some more configuration later so this one r3 configuration is also done now we need to do the r4 so just we will go r4 configuration we will do in our next video we will verify what output we are getting that is correct or not because i don't want to make this video big as many students requesting for short video so here i will do only r4 in next video we will verify and we will check okay and also we need to save the configuration everywhere because next time we are going to use this one and also we need to assign the ip address to the router and switch and uh, what we can say not router ip address to the computers also later we will do that also now let's see r4 configuration what we have here f0 by 0 14.2 so f0 by 0 will be 14.2 here and f1 by 0 this one f f0 by 1 will be 34.2 so this will be 34.2 and f1 by 0 this one 4.1 so this will be 4.1 okay and this interface same interface we are using okay so this is a routing protocol you need to write router ospf1 then go under this interface I go here and write IP OSPF1. If you are using one here, you need to write one here. And if you are using area zero, you need to put area zero. A zero also we can use. A is nothing but area only. So I will copy this whole thing. I will go here. I will paste this here. Okay, this is for R4. Let me paste here. Okay, so everything is good. After some time, you will have the roots. After that, it will start working. All the guys can ping and it will work. So that verification we will do in our next video. I will publish four or five video continuously. So no need to worry here. We have the neighborship, but verification we will do in our next class. We will check the routes and we will assign the IP address to the machine and we will verify. After that, I will remove this configuration only the interface configuration only and we will do the VLAN. I will add here VLAN and also we will change the computer IP schema. We will do so this will lab will be little big. First we are doing a small thing then we will remove some configuration and we will do some changes. So in our next class we will do that okay. Thank you. If you have any doubt anything feel free whatsapp us we are busy we will reply later but no need to worry we will support you okay. We will support you if you struck anywhere we will see how we can help you and we will support you. Thank you.